my beautiful people you are welcome back to my channel thank you very much for this coming out here if you have not subscribed please kindly do and don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you very much i really do appreciate god bless you <laughs> for the past few weeks now we'll be keeping you updated on the issue or can i say the activities of bandits in the country why the one of the islamic uh clerk um abubaka ahmed gumi you know being the mediator between them and the federal government according to him he said he had been preaching peace to them for them to drop their gun and also asking the federal government to you know give them amnesty for them to drop their guns and all that and so many nigerians you know have uh, I counter this saying that uh, this is not the way to treat these people because they belong to a particular place. These people don't to do for this country. They've displaced millions of Nigerians. They've killed millions of Nigerians. You understand? Okay. Causing havoc everywhere. You know, there is no peace anywhere because of all these people. And now, this man can they say, make federal government come give them yeah, amnesty. Made them drop their gun. According to him, he said he's preaching peace to them for them to repent and all that. So, for these past few weeks, he has made so many statements. He said that uh, these people, they've not killed Nigerians, so that they just killed few. You know, Nigerians can't be vet. Why? What to go make this man talk this kind of thing? Because the people these people have killed, eh? Hey. <laughs> They are accountable. You cannot count them. You cannot name them. They just too much. So this man saying that um, they don't kill people, they don't attack people, that their own is just to kidnap, they negotiate and all that, that they can only kill when you kill one of their members and all that. And Nigerians come, they talk, say, they don't understand the one when this man do. Are you trying to support these people? He himself don't see you, the man talk and say, he cannot call them, he cannot call them bandits that they are not bandits, that he called them militants, that they are ethnic, uh, they are ethnic fighters. Is that, yeah, that is what he said. Say now even be. Say make anybody not they call them bandits. But the recent one when he talk, when on the cause wala for the country now be say, he can they tell the bandits, those people, eh? He told them that they are being killed by non-Muslim soldiers just to cause chaos in the country. And Nigerians come they shout, they say, hey, what did this man try to do now? What is he trying to do? What is he doing? He's trying to cause war between the Christians and the Muslims. Why should he be saying such a thing to these kind of people when they say, we all know that their, their hearts, you know, they front, they back and all that. But today, the Northern Elders, they've come out to come say they don't wash their hand for this matter. Say their hand no, their eye no rich. Their hand no rich. They can't say, they don't reject waiting this man they talk that he is on his own so hello guys as we progress this we all uh, understand all that but before then uh if you are here for the first time once again please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up now the news reads in detail you are alone, Northern Elders, disown Shaikh Gumi. The Northern Elders have rejected recent comments credited to Shaikh Abubakar Ahmed Gumi, accusing the military of triggering the raging banditry in parts of the North. Niger News reports that Gumi, who have been meeting with bandits in different forests to preach peace, and that uh, accused non-Muslim soldiers of attacking innocent people and their villages to cause chaos in the north. Reacting to Gumi's allegation in a statement by its national coordinator, Zana Goni, the elder, elder said the clerk's allegation were not a representation, a representation of the position of the region. Sorry about that. The group called North East Elders for Peace and Development vowed to resist attempts by any individual or group to 
preferred the military which they maintained remained the most visible symbol of national unity and cohesion. The one that why an Islamic cleric and scholar who had taken the initiative to discuss with bandits, we end up, you know, taking side as his statement suggests. The head has expressed warned uh, the Gumi's action may expose the lives and safety of non-Muslim soldiers to serious danger, both in the military and their operational theaters in the north. The statement reads in full. We rise in one voice to dis disassociate ourselves from the dangerous and the decisive allegations leveled against our patriotic soldiers by Sheikh Gumi in one of his missions to meet with bandits in a forest around Niger state. Ordinarily, we would have condemned the Sheikh for daring to do what authorities feared, but sorry, ordinarily, we have commended the Sheikh for daring to do what authorities feared, but for the profiling comments attributed to him, which we consider unhelpful to national development and peace. We insist that our military is one of the finest in the world with zero tolerance for partnership, ethnic consideration and other unprofessional dispositions. We want the comments such as this have the potential of pitching, punching the exposed soldiers against general areas in the north where they have continued to put down their lives to protect the territorial integrity of the nation from those that seek to evaluate it. Our concern is further hint on the possibility of the world concluding that the North may be offering tactics endowments to banditry and associated crimes against society. To judge this tension, therefore, we call on relevant authorities, including prominent individuals and groups from the North, to condemn Gumi's, uh, Gumi's position in a manner that will absorb the region of conspiracy and uh, an inability to bring down this country. In whatever position we find ourselves, we must at all material times, endeavor to put the collective interests of Nigeria over and above all other considerations, bearing in mind the fact that when the country collapses, it will do so on all of us, regardless of region, ethnic city, or belief. The statement reads. So, hello, guys. I'm going to drop it here for now. Let's hear from you. Leave your opinion below the comment section. Thank you very much for listening.